Hello, I'm Dr. Marcella Martin. I'm a specialist in obstetrics, gynaecology and infertility. Today, I'm going to talk about immunisations in pregnancy. Many women may not be aware that they are not up to date with their vaccinations and could potentially be susceptible to catching infections or diseases that risk harming both themselves and their unborn child. It is important to get immunised as during pandemics there is an increased risk for pregnant women of spontaneous abortion, progression to pneumonia or adult respiratory distress syndrome. There's also a risk of the baby having a low birth weight and even death. In medical practice, we need to vaccinate between six and 20 mothers to prevent one influenza associated zero to six month old infant being hospitalised. There are proven benefits to a baby, such as higher antibody levels with those mothers who were vaccinated during a pregnancy. It is very important that if you are considering having a baby, that prior to getting pregnant, you check with your regular GP that your vaccinations are up to date, in particular, your rubella and varicella vaccinations. If you need to update them, wait one month before falling pregnant. During pregnancy, ensure to get your influenza vaccination. This can be done at any time during the pregnancy and it will protect both you and your baby from serious disease. In Australia, an inactivated flu vaccine is used. It is important to know that the severity of the influenza infection is increased in pregnancy, with hospitalisation increasing fivefold by the third trimester, especially if there are other risk factors such as obesity. In the third trimester or after 28 weeks, we give a whooping cough or pertussis booster to protect you and your baby. It is important to note that the high levels of pertussis antibodies cross the placenta, not the infection. The common whooping cough vaccination is termed Boostrix and it is free for all pregnant women. There are some vaccinations that should be avoided during pregnancy as they could be potentially transmitted to the unborn child and result in complications, miscarriage or defects. These following vaccinations should be avoided. Rubella, varicella, hepatitis A, polio vaccination and pneumococcal. So you can see why it's so important to vaccinate before you get pregnant and have your update checked. I hope you found this information useful. I look forward to welcoming you to St George Private Hospital.